Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about the J split pane. Today we are going to talk about the Java GUI class called J split pane, which is used to divide two components. So using the J split pane, the two components are divided based on the look and feel implementation, and they can also be resized by the user. So if the minimum size of the two components is greater than the size of the split pane, then the divider will not allow you to resize it. So let's go into the code. And so in my screen here, as you can see, I have the MyFrame class, which is extending the JFrame class. And I have the main class here, which is containing the main method, allowing me to run my program. And in the main method, I'm also creating a frame object. So I'm going to write the majority of my code in this MyFrame class here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take an example how to use the JSplitPlane class. So I will need some combo box. So let me first of all create a string array here. I'll call it str, open and close the curly braces. And here I'm going to pass in some string. So I'll say name first name I need to put the double quotations because these are some strings and i will say age and i'll say position <clears throat> so these are some strings that i'm going to pass to the combo box so i'll say j combo box combo box i'll say one assign to operate a new j combo box and in this particular combo box i'm going to pass the string array str1 so i will do the same thing for the second combo box so this will be called str2 and i'll say hello world nice and day so here i'll call it combo box 2 and i'll pass str2 here to that combo box so the next thing I will do is that I'm going to add these combo boxes to the panels. So, so I will say panel, panel one, new panel, semicolon. I will import this panel and I will say panel one dot add. So I'm going to add a combo box one to this panel. So that's it. I will do the same thing for panel two. I will add combo box to it. So panel two combo box two and here will be panel two as well so now how do you apply the split pane i want to split between these two combo boxes or these two panels here so i need to use the j split pane that i'll call split pane and new j split pane <clears throat> and inside of brackets i will say j split pane at sorry horizontal split so i can use the horizontal split or the um, verticals so let me start with the horizontal split here so after passing this constant i can pass panel one and panel two which are two components that i want to split so now the next thing we will do is that we will add this split pane to the content pane. so i'll say this that get content pane and i'll say that that add split pane Oh, let me remove combo box here. Okay. So this that get content pane that add split pane. And now when I run, so there you can see my two combo boxes are contained in different panels and they are also split, splitted horizontally. So what if I said here, instead of horizontal split, I said vertical split. You will see that this is going to split that vertically. So one on top of the other. Let me, if I comment this and set the layout to null then semicolon and for combo box one I set the bounds like this and say 200 now if i say um maybe 10 here 200 250 uh, now if i run so i'll copy this is it here say 210 and if i Fix panel one here, panel two, a split pane. Okay, so I need to fix <clears throat> the split pane size. So here I'll say 400, for example, and a height, I'll say 400 as well. And here I'll say horizontal run. I'll comment this and run, run here as well. So guys, I hope this video was informative and um, we talked about the J split pane class in Java GUI. 
I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Let's meet in the next one.